Hi there and welcome to the video. My name's Gareth and as you can see here I've got a bunch of tabs open with lots of different images and as I'm talking I'll be sort of zooming in and out and clicking through them just so you can kind of see what we've got going on here. Now this isn't a tutorial video but what this is is an example of a batch of images that I've generated recently to supply to you guys, my viewers and subscribers. Um, for you to practice your editing on, your retouching, or to use them for t-shirt mock-ups and, and things like that. As you can see, there's a few different sort of styles here. Now, these are AI-generated. I've generated these on a local system installed on my computer, a stable diffusion-based system. And I've been tweaking and adjusting this system and the settings and everything for quite a long time now, for a few months probably, to try and get to a point where I can reliably create what I believe to be some of the most authentic, realistic AI generated images of people that, you know, I, I personally have seen, um, you know, they they haven't got plastic skin. You can see here all the nice skin detail, all the texture, all the pores and everything like that. And this is what a lot of AI images that you may have seen have lacked. They look all plasticky and things, but you can see on this, I mean, that really is, this looks like a photo um, and the way I've created these is it kind of makes it a bit more in this batch anyway, what I call like quote unquote real people, you know, so it's the kind of people that you, that you and I would see, um, on a regular basis, our friends, our family, um, it's not over smooth skin, not like unattainable supermodel looks like again most of the um or a lot of the ai um platforms generators like a default which is good because it gives things for you to do so if you want to practice retouching skin for example um i mean these have got nice skin but it's but there's natural there are natural imperfections that you might want to be able to like smooth out um t-shirts most of these have got plain t-shirts so you can practice um, like I said before, mock-ups and things like that. Some of this is the same, the same kind of person, just in different poses and different different things. There's a few different people, and cut. You can try cutting out the hair and whatever you want to do with these. They've got no usage restriction on them. They can't be copyrighted because they're AI generated. So basically, they're high quality, realistic images. I've generated and they've been seen by no one else other than in this video. So if you're watching this video, you can download these in the link in the description box below and feel free to use them however you like, whether it's in your own portfolio of, for editing, using them on Etsy for t-shirt mock-ups, um, anything like that. What I would be interested in is feedback from you guys as to the type of images you'd be interested in seeing in the future because I plan on doing this on a very regular basis. I know that there's been a little bit quiet on this channel recently in terms of content. And um, these aren't going to replace tutorial content. But to be perfectly honest with you, this is something I want to add on a regular basis anyway. Because when I first started out, I really struggled to find decent quality images and photos to practice my editing on and things like that. And it is difficult unless you know photographers and things like that, or you spend a lot of time sifting through stock websites. Um, it is difficult. It is difficult to find high quality images that don't have any kind of copyright association on them. That's the important part. You, could just, you can't just go on Google and just start picking random photos of people out and using and editing those and putting them up again. You get in trouble. Whereas these, you know. They're 100% never been anywhere else. So, yeah, if you'd just like to leave some notes in the comments saying the type of things you want to see in the future, whether it's more sort of people focused on mock-ups, is it close-up beauty shots of, like, the face, maybe more closer in makeup shots that you can do, whether it's products like coffee cups, um, hats, people wearing, you know, handbags, whatever. It literally could be anything architecture shots, landscape shots, um, yeah, 
any ideas, just put them into the comments and I will um, consider them for any future image collections. But for now, thanks for checking this video out. And just a reminder, the download link is in the description box and I hope you find them useful and I'll have more to offer in the very near future.